Hi, you guys, this is Norvina, and today I'm so excited to announce our brand new palette, Primrose. I'm excited for so many reasons. Number one, we haven't had a new palette since January 2020. It's been a minute. We took a little break and we reinvented Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. A few things changed about this palette. Uh, the exterior is a harder uh, material, textured, beautiful tufted paper, and then the rose gold treatments on the sides. It won't get dirty. It's really easy to brush off any powder that gets onto it, so it will look good for a very long time. One of the first things you're gonna notice is how big this palette is. I'm gonna give you a little example. So here it is in comparison with Soft Glam. Even though it's longer, I was able to slim down the material a little bit just to keep it really tight. You don't wanna feel like you have this giant palette that you're traveling with. You'll notice that it has a full-size mirror. There's a rose gold exterior. And one thing that you might've noticed, or maybe you missed it, is that the pans are huge. So just for reference, this is 0.74 grams, the Soft Glam or the standard Anastasia shadows, and this is 1.44. The way that I can make this palette comfortable and not massive and uncomfortable is I had to remove the brush well in order to make room for the larger pans, which without taking up too much real estate, it's a huge jump. It's double the product. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Your palettes will last you a very long time. One of the things you'll notice about this is Primrose is a very, it's just such a pretty palette. It's for me, the perfect lilac-y, mauve-y in combination with nudes palette. It looks so beautiful on every skin tone and I feel like it truly is a palette for any season. And it also truly is a palette that can be worn day and night. I love this color as a transition color, as a matter of fact. I was like, ooh, people are gonna really dip into that. But I mean, they're all beautiful. So what I wanna do is I wanna swatch all the colors to show you. So I'm gonna start off with rose water. Rose water is a beautiful combination of a multitude of pearls. What it has, it has a beautiful champagne base and then it has multi-reflective pearls on top in various forms of pinks. Next, we have Peony. And Peony is basically a peach pink gold bomb. It's all together infused. The peachy color infused with the gold is so pretty on the lid. And the fact that it's so multi-reflective, anytime you catch the light, you'll see a different tone. And that's the effect that I want um, for the shadow to give. Honey, it's a perfect warm honey tone. It's a different take on a beige. It's warmer, so it will look good on deeper skin tone as well as lighter skin tones. It's not, it doesn't have that like ashy light color that a lot of nudes have, but it also doesn't get too orangey. Next we have Rouge. Rouge is a matte and it is a pretty much a brick tone color. It's a warm red brown, um, obviously lesser on the brown side and more on the red side. This is not orange, it's really red. It's an umber type um, shade. Sparkling Amber, it's descriptive in the sense that it is an amber color. It is sparkling, it is multi-dimensional. Um, it has reflective tones. One thing that it has in there, in addition to the beautiful amber color, is a soft pink reflect, but it's very, very slight, just to give it a little bit something more than just a, you know, uh, an orangey gold color, which is what an amber is essentially. It's very dynamic, it looks like a jewel. Fire Opal. This is a color that we don't usually ever see in Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. You fuse like the copper color with the most gorgeous soft ambery gold and you made one color, it would be Fire Opal. Now let's talk about Primrose. She's the star of the show. So this is such a cool shadow. It's, it's a matte. It stays matte, it applies like a matte. It's not a shimmery shadow. It does have reflective pink pearls that are just lightly sprinkled throughout to give you kind of that like starry night type of look, but it's literally the reflective pink pearls will sit on top of the matte shadow. So it doesn't make it a satin or it doesn't make it a sparkle shadow. It's such a special and beautiful shadow. I am obsessed with it. Next we have Deep Berry. It is about as dark of a burgundy as it will go. Um, it is very clearly burgundy, very clearly you'll see the reds, you'll see the aubergine undertone, but as you blend it, it won't turn 
um, more towards black as a regular aubergine would because it's high content of purples. And the whole intention behind that is I really wanted it to retain its color when you blend it out. Mango, it's pretty descriptive. Another matte shadow, it's the perfect mango shade. It's a bright, and, and that's important to say that because it's not a yellowy orange. It is a bright, clean, it's a matte, but it just feels really bright, lit from within. It's gonna look so pretty on eyelids, any eyelid, any skin tone. It's such a gorgeous color. And next we have Claret. Claret is a really, really cool tone. It's a mid-tone muted pink. It has kind of the same attribute of a lilac, but it's obviously a pink. It's soft, it doesn't overpower. It's a very elegant shade, it stays always really pretty. Last but not least, we have the two blushes. So I wanted to create a gorgeous blush um, for uh, light and then uh, medium deep skin tones. Grapefruit is a light peachy pink color. Yeah, they're both matte by the way. It blends gorgeously. It has plenty of payoff. And Saddle is a deep orange color with a brown undertone. It just is a perfect um, warm tone blush that really warms up the skin and just looks so stunning. I'm so excited to introduce this new palette, new palette concept, brand new, much larger pans, two blushes, and I hope you guys check it out. I'm so excited to hear what you think and see your looks. Thank you so much, bye.